hello friends i welcome you led circuits bazaar and today in this video we are going to uh, study how you can interface multiple led in tinkercad using arduino so let's start now go to tinkercad.com and open your new design or you can say new project so click on new then circuits so your new project will open here so the very first component we need is arduino board and uh, breadboard so search over here arduino arduino this is Arduino Uno R3. So just drag it in this section. Now what is next component? Next component is breadboard. So click on breadboard. So this is breadboard. So drop it here. Now in breadboard, uh, these these are the vertical lines. They are these are the vertical points connected with each other, and these horizontal points are connected with either each other. Okay. Now you can see that. So uh, it is bet best practice if you will connect 5 volt uh, from Arduino or ground from Arduino to these horizontal rails. Okay, and uh, rest of the circuit you can uh, like prepare over here. So there are two sections in this breadboard. One section below this line, like this one. This is the one section, and this is the second section. So they are similar with each other. So let me just show you what's inside breadboard. So I have to tear it down. Let me just show you below section of the breadboard. So now here you can see that this is the uh, top layer and this is the bottom layer of the breadboard. Okay, so now you can see that these are the vertical lines. So they are connected with each other. So all these points are connected with each other. So you can see over here as well. So these vertical lines are connected with each other. Now if I talk about these power lines like plus minus is written over here, they are connected horizontally. Okay. So uh, over here as well, you can see that they are connected horizontally. So this point is the, this point is connected with all these points in the horizontal direction. But this point is not connected with this one. So you can see from the below side of the breadboard as well this thing. So let's let's move to the uh, circuit. Okay, now connect uh, uh, the power line. So this is five volt. You can change its color because as you know that it's positive five volt. So it's better to to connect it uh, on this like uh, positive as it's written over here. This is plus. You can see that plus minus. So five volt we have connected over here, and now I'm going to change its color to red because it's a power. And then this is black. So I'll change. Sorry, this is ground. So I'll change its color to black. So now you can see that I have connected the power lines. Now it's time to take the LED. So just search over here LED. So this is the LED. Now you can copy it by clicking over here copy and then paste. Then again paste because you have already copied it. Okay. Now uh, this is red color LED. So you can change uh, the second LED color to uh, from red to let's say orange. And uh, this is third LED. You can change its color to, let's say, uh, blue. Okay. Now all these LEDs are of different color. Now what's next component you need? Next component is register. So register is actually already over here. You can see that this is register. Now put it over here on the breadboard. Now you can see that it's connected on the positive side of the LED or even uh, not positive on the negative side. So either you can place registers on the positive side or negative side. So if you will place it on the positive side, uh, negative side like this is cathode, this is anode. So it will be better. Okay. Uh, now change the value. So it's in kilo ohm. So instead of kilo ohm, I will make it to 100 ohm because uh, one kilo ohm resistance is very high if you are running the LED on 5 volt. So that's why I have changed it to 100 ohm. Okay. Now you can copy it. So just click over here, copy and then paste. Again, paste. Now, uh, LED, I'm going to connect on pin number 12, 13 and 11. So you can connect. As I already told you, these are the vertical point connected with each other. So from this point, you can connect to pin number 13. And this is, uh, you can connect to pin number 12. And now this point, you can connect to pin number 11. Okay. Uh, okay, it's time to uh, see the code. 
So just go to code section and uh, over here you can just go to uh, blocks and text. So you will you can program the Arduino using blocks and uh, you can write uh, or you can see the writing code over here as well. Okay. Now uh, first of all because we are using three LED so I have to take over here it says set built in LED which is pin number 13. So instead of this I need to uh, take three pins like pin number 13, 12 and 11. So for that what I can do I can just uh, just delete it set built in delete, delete below and over here this one set pin you can take this one and set built in delete and set pin you can place it over here it's a just simple drag and drop now change it from pin number uh, like 0 to pin number 13 and this one pin number again 13 okay high it's a high now you can make it to low right now uh, just uh, simulate the code start simulating now you can see that only one led will blink at time interval of one second so but we need to program all the three leds so now what i can do i will again go to code after a stop simulation now I, i'm gonna take a variable time delay variable so that uh, uh, the code will be short and i can easily program it so take a time delay variable over here time delay okay now place this uh, time delay variable in the very beginning of the program now it's a one second oh, uh, so the uh, time delay value you can make it over here let's say uh, 300 so it's a 300 time delay value now uh, just uh, drop your variable in the wait section and again in the this wait section now change it from seconds to milliseconds again seconds to millisecond okay uh, the program is same till now but as you can see that in the programming uh, this is a uh, time delay variable as you know that it's an integer so that's why we have used int over here this is pin number 13 led uh, we have set it to output and this is simple high low blinking program right and time delay value 300 over here because you have set 300 over here now just try to play it start simulation as you can see that uh, there is no change uh, but the time delay decrease from 1000 millisecond to 300 millisecond only this is the change now just stop it and again click on the code now i'm going to program all the three pins so what you can do you you can just uh, copy duplicate block you you can place it over here again uh, duplicate this block okay now it's pin number 13 so from pin number 13 to uh, you have to change it to pin number 12 so this is pin number 12 now uh, again change it to pin number 11 this is pin number 11 okay uh, now again simulate the code so just go to the circuit click over here in this section so you need to uh, like uh, this is the code uh, you will get uh, the block uh, the uh, code in the form of code blocks and in the text form as well but now if you want to see the simulation then you need to click on this area in circuit area so this will go away as soon as you will click in the circuit area now start simulation so here this time you can see that all the three LED is blinking on a particular time interval, right? So they are blinking individually, okay, one after the other. So if you want to blink them uh, together, then you have to change the code. So now again, stop simulation, click on the code. So this is the simple code. As you can see that whatever we have taken uh, in these code blocks, so accordingly, the code is written automatically, okay? Now, uh, I want to blink all the LED at the single time now what you can do you, you just delete them uh, from here I'm gonna delete from here delete block so I'll put it over here in the delete section now delete it uh, I will go to variables no control because i have by mistake deleted this wait section so i'll go to wait put it over here i'll go to variables put it time delay change it from seconds to milliseconds now i will go to output section and we'll select like three more pin okay and uh, here as well i'm going to take two more pin like pin number 12 and pin number 11 now, now I'm going to change them like this is 0 pin so I'll make it 12 pin 11 pin or uh, this is 12 
and then this is pin number 11 okay now again over here make it to pin number 12 and then make it to pin number 11 so you can see that over here pin number uh, 13 12 11 13 12 11 so now uh, one more thing like these are all the high pins so i need to make these uh, below pins all the pin low okay now just play it so click on the circuit and start simulation now you will see all the led will on and off together together all the three led is on and together they are off so if you want to change the uh, time delay in between then you can very easily change just stop the simulation click on the code and uh, uh, instead of 13 let's say you want to make it to 150 okay in this that case delay will be half of the current delay now click on the circuit and start simulation now you can see that the blinking speed is very high so this is how uh, you can mul interface multiple LED using Tinkercad.